We're at the USA Science and Engineering Festival at the Walter Washington Convention Center in Washington, D.C. In fact, there's everything from uh, building blocks that kids can get down on the ground and play with uh, to uh, an advanced microscope and the robots in our site. The, the first problem a, a kid runs into when they're assigned a, a science fair project is what do I do? And we really focus in on that, giving them highly personalized solutions that really allow them to do an intrinsically interesting project. We run a free education website that is open access to millions of K-12 parents, students, and teachers with a library of over 1,000 different science and engineering projects. So if kids need to do a science project for school or they just want to do something fun at home, they can go onto our website and there will be some background scientific information, a list of materials they need to buy, and then a step-by-step -step procedure to do the project but doesn't ultimately give away the answers. So the kids still need to kind of go through the scientific method themselves and compile their own results. Kids these days don't know what they want to be when they grow up just yet, especially in secondary education. So these science fair projects that Science Buddies has provides them a context to begin to learn what they're most interested in. And we're going to work with them to show how they can go from not knowing any design to learning something in high school and carrying that through to university and into the industry as well. Autodesk makes the kinds of tools that, that professionals use in the real world. We're going to incorporate them into project ideas on our website so that kids can use them when they're doing aerodynamics projects. Uh, there's even uh, projects involving butterflies where they can model the airflow over the wing. So it, it's really incorporating real world tools into projects that a kid in middle school might be doing. With um, programs like Tinkercad, you know, getting kids in at that even earlier age, I think would start, you know, building that skill so it's then they already know it in high school and then if you go into college or a technical degree, you already have that background. It gives you a huge advantage over somebody who didn't, wasn't exposed to CAD at a K through 12 level. A lot of times students don't know where to start. Science Buddies is that starting point. It allows you to find that item and then link it with the technology that will enhance that. And from there, they can carry that on as they move along in their education. It's the next greatest thing. So uh, it, it's uh, fabulous to have kids be able to use this software in, in their project.